these tough economic times have some single folks rethinking the traditional rules about money and dating. Joining us for some insight are Nicole Biland, executive editor of Cosmopolitan Magazine, and Matt Titus, author of Why Hasn't He Called? Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. All right, so the, all of the sort of old rules about money and dating were kind of thrown out the window some years ago, although many women very reluctant to necessarily participate. I mean, it's so interesting, even after all of the liberation and everything mm -hmm. else, a lot of traditional roles still are sort of fallen into, people, right? People are th thrown out the Darwinian dating concept. Darwinian dating. Dating, looking for a guy that's financially successful, right. the total package, personable. Women are sacrificing that and going after men, or as I said, mm -hmm. allowing themselves to date guys that are of lesser financial status because of the economic downturn, bad decision. Is I don't it, like it. I is, don't know well, if that's the reason why they're, I don't think they're sacrificing anything. I think they're just changing. Right. Uh, in part because of the recession, but also I think before that we were changing. At Cosmo we did a huge survey okay. and we found that women are actually, in some areas they are traditional, like mm -hmm. the first date, sure. but that they are more than willing to date a guy who makes less than them, even a guy who might still live at home with his parents isn't, because he hasn't gotten going in his career. <laughs> isn't I, there a tendency, though, in these tough times to go for the guy as opposed to say, well, there are less guys with less money out there, so I should just go for a schlub? Or should a, a woman be thinking, I need to go, I want to hit the mother load? A woman needs to hit the mother load, Harry. She <laughs> needs to be patient and she needs to search and seek out that kind of man because he does exist. A guy on a woman's, on his mother and father's couch, mm -hmm. that guy shouldn't be dating. He should be <laughs> looking at his career and trying to- It all depends on how old he is. I, I think it's a basic instinct to want to be with a guy who can provide for you because right. for millennia we've been programmed to do that, but it's not your only instinct and it's not the only thing you'll find attractive. All right, but we're in these topsy-turvy times mm -hmm. now. Okay, assume you make more money, you go out with Matt. Mm -hmm. right? She'd be going out for my looks. And he's broke. Right. So. Exactly. Yeah. He's broke, and he's, <laughs> but you're, you know, you're cutting, him a, cutting him some slack. Right. Who should pay? On the first date, the first date's more about Watch ritual. It, it's more the first date's more about ritual and romance than it is anything I else. Agree so with I think you. the man Absolutely. should pay, but after that, men and women should either split the check or take turns treating each other because that's the reality. A partnership these days it's mm -hmm. about equality. Right. You take care of each other. Absolutely not. A man <laughs> always pays. When a no, woman not pulls out her wallet or her, her money, right. she is becoming one of the guys. Because guys do that. You she's and I go out here. Right. She's becoming an we equal. We split the check. Sure, sure, no, sure. she's just a gateway for lesser treatment from no, a man. No, it's not. No, it's Absolutely. Not. In our survey, we found 57% of women would even be willing to pay on a first date, right. but that 81% of guys expect to pay. So yeah. it's like expectations versus reality. And you, but you say splitting because it makes some sense. You would think just step away for a second, split the check. Tough times. Everybody's <laughs> no. trying to get yeah. through. No, you, that's the it's, ultimate no-no. It no? creates a behavior pattern with the guy. You're lowering the bar for yeah. him to treat you subpar for the subpar. whole I the duration of the relationship. Back, I think it's backward thinking. That's that might be the case. It might be the case with <laughs> some guys. You, you don't want to go out. On? The kind of guy who would treat you worse because you picked up the check, you do not want to be with that guy. Should you ever talk about money on dates? I'm going to say absolutely not unless you're trash. Until, unless you Absolutely you can, not. You don't talk about your economic situation. But you can talk about work. You can and talk that, about that'll work. tell you everything you need to know. You can uh, talk about work. Yeah, you have those questions. They're secret questions to ask a guy to find so, out. And so they like, work. Like, are you employed? Yeah. All right, Nicole, <laughs> thanks so much, Matt. Do appreciate it.